awesome. Well, uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Um, we have a, a good friend, Dave Verley, with us today, a special guest on the podcast. Um, these are also, uh, they go live onto Facebook uh, later through recording. But um, so it's a uh, Facebook live recorded. And then it'll be on YouTube as well. But we've been doing for um, the last few months something I've called uh, Reformation and Restolution Chats, where we just kind of, um, a lot of them have just been me rambling, but I've also had guests on here talking about, you know, what is this Reformation happening in the church? What are things that Holy Spirit's breathing on? Things that we're maybe rediscovering or you know, as Karl Barth said, semper reformanda means we're always reforming. We're always, you know, changing and growing and hopefully in, in positive ways. Um, and so we just kind of been exploring that and some of the marks of what it's, you know, what's happening in the body of Christ and what, uh, yeah, what's the, the revelation that Holy Spirit's breathing on. And then I throw the word resolution in there too, because it's just kind of a, that I've been, uh, uh, I made it up, I guess, but it's like bringing that rest, but still a transforming rest, you know, something that's transforming our awareness, uh, waking us up to the gospel and impacting real lives and making real, real, uh, hopefully blessing, you know, into people's lives. And so anyway, um, my buddy Dave here has been so, uh, so much about all of those things. Um, and we haven't really caught up in a couple years at least. So yeah. I'm excited to have you on the show, Dave, um, yeah, and uh, just chat with you. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe a good place to start is just, uh, what have you been up to these last couple of years? What's been going on, bro? <laughs> man, man, it's so good to see you, Matt. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, it's, uh, it's an honor. It's fun. And uh, maybe some some old friends will pop on and and uh, be like, well, what's what's David up to? So, that, that is, like I said, inquiring minds want to know. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Well, uh, yeah, great to see you. It's it's been a couple of years. I I don't think we've seen each other, Matt, since uh, Nicaragua in person. Wow. Yeah, where I'm so, trying to was that 2018 or. Uh, maybe that even early. is like maybe 2016 2015 maybe so okay. it's been it's been a couple okay. of years time flies when you're having fun yeah for sure man yeah so since i last saw you uh i went to china of all places and uh and i actually i met my wife there yes and, uh, but been that and, and uh yeah big congrats so we, we oh. just uh, we just celebrated our fourth uh, year anniversary, so just a couple couple days ago. Uh, so uh, really I'm fun. Okay. I love it. I love love being married, uh, especially to my wife. She's amazing, and uh, yeah, she's actually originally from Russia, and we're currently in Russia. So I'm I'm in Saint Petersburg, Russia, right now. So. I know yeah. we have to ask you questions about that in a little bit too. I'm sure, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing to talk about there. Nothing, nothing <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we won't ask too many questions, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we've. I feel like we've chatted at least once or maybe twice since since you were married, but um, or maybe it just feels like that. I don't know. I I remember watching. I think I watched some of your wedding online somewhere. Sure. Yeah. 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 We did a Beautiful. Facebook. We did a Facebook live on our wedding, which was really great. So it just yeah. kind of included um, everyone. And it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. We we got married in in Redding, California, and we actually we actually haven't been back to the United States uh, since then. So yeah, we're actually we're making plans to head back to the states here in the next few months. So. Woo! excited excited to come back to to the homeland so that'll be fun that's awesome man. Yeah, and uh so uh sh actually shortly uh after we got married we were planning on you know going back to china maybe doing some missions there and uh it was really sad um my wife's uh mom passed away shortly after we got married so we ended up coming yeah. into russia and taking over her church so she just had a small church in northern russia so we've been wow. kind, of, kind wow. of leading and pastoring that church um uh to make a long story even longer we 
I, I needed to run to Finland in March of 2020. And if you know anything about March 2020, all the yes. COVID hit and all the borders closed and we got stuck in Finland for two years, almost two years. Which, two years, bro. So what? it was really fun. <laughs> it was like a little, our honeymoon extended. So yeah, I did a two year Finland honeymoon. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fun fun place really yeah if you love only, nature only you guys man like you go with the flow you know you, have, you gotta go with the flow you still so gotta just, smile on your face about it yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure yeah yeah so uh yeah and so we've just kind of been pastoring that online and then uh teaching english online so we have uh we just do everything online we do podcasts online and uh just do our thing so that's that's kind of an update update on me yeah so you're pastor dave now basically uh kind of yeah yeah <laughs> that's so cool man i yeah i did i i knew you were doing ministry there and uh you know you guys are like missionaries or whatever but uh yeah, it's, it's been a really fun transition because i've i've only done worship leading so i could stand on in front of the crowd and sing 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 no problem no nerves yeah. whatsoever but as soon as, like, I had to stand and, and talk in front of people, like, the words just didn't come out. So it was really sure. cool uh, because when I was in China, I taught English at a university, and I was just forced to stand in front of people and talk for an hour. And uh, their English wasn't that great, so it really didn't matter what I said. <laughs> So you're doing everything through a translator too, I assume. Uh, in China, well, when you're teaching English, I mean, you're you're, you're oh. just speaking English, yeah, yeah. Sure. But when when I do any teaching or preaching in Russia, it's through a translator, and it's through my wife. So okay. I say hey. one line, and she says like three or four lines, and everybody <laughs> thinks I'm a genius. So yeah. I, I'm not sure how it works. But Who's really preaching there? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> No, that's the best though, man. I, I can't tell you how many times, you know, if you don't know the translator, they're like wondering, are you sure you really want to say that? You know, this, yeah. this gospel may be too Yeah, standard. yeah, yeah. Maybe, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and then I'll say, I'll say the next line and she'll look at me. She said, oh, I already said that. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's helping you out, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's been really fun. So it's been, it's been a nice transition from, just being uh, a worship leader and actually starting to teach and preach and stand in front of people and talk. And uh, yeah. it's been really good. It's been really fun. So Well, I, I still love the songs that you wrote, you know, so many years ago. And we actually Thank used you. it in our yeah. home church and oh, different. It's so great. It's so, so, so I encourage you, if you haven't looked up Dave Verley on SoundCloud, YouTube, whatever to find some yeah, of those everything's on youtube you you can just look it up and i've i i've thrown up some songs recent or over this last maybe it's been about a year since i've put anything but yeah it's been fun yeah i ask if you've been writing still or if you're are you yeah. still reading are, are you playing you're playing music still uh yeah i mean uh yes i have just not not that much obviously because of covid and everything was locked yeah. down so it's just like right. kind of maybe leading some stuff over zoom i got a chance to to actually lead in person in finland in a real you know church with the speakers and i was like oh yeah. no people it was like oh this is amazing <laughs> yeah 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 for sure man for yeah. sure yeah, but well, always always writing. I think once you're a writer, you're always writing and always always have yeah. little little tunes. So yeah, it's really fun. Really it's fun. Amazing. Yeah. amazing. Well, thanks for being on today. Um, yeah. You know, a, a lot of times when I've when I've had people on, I just want to like really give them the freedom to, you know, like I said, it's kind of our reformation chats or things like like just to express, you know, what do you feel like Holy Spirit's been speaking to you through you for the body yeah. like where what do you like what are what's burning in your heart man and really we can kind of we can go any direction with that sure. because i feel like when yeah. the, there's freedom it's like we get the best stuff you know yeah. so yeah, uh, yeah well, I, I love that i love how you you have the restoration because uh are you you may be familiar are you familiar with bob jones's hundred year prophecy oh yeah yeah, yeah. definitely so uh, yeah, so the the 2020s were, do you know what the 2020s were? 
No, I can't remember, man. I, I remember. So, the yeah. Well, well, you're 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 right on it. So yeah. it's uh, it's entering rest, which is actually Double funny. Honor. So the the twenty the twenty twenties. So welcome to the twenties is a entering rest. So I thought it was so funny that you're you're doing the the restoration, uh, which is so good, and it's so interesting how everything has come against us entering rest. You know, right. true. And, and uh, what's that? I said for sure, man. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just with uh, just with everyone getting hit with with fear and craziness and. Uh, Anyway, I, I actually have I actually have the 2020s. I, I want to this was Bob Jones's prophecy from from many years ago. If you don't know Bob Jones, he was a prophet, real crazy guy, real fun. Uh, and he he has since died. So he he didn't even he didn't get to see the 2020s. But uh, he just said that um, in the 2020s, God will reveal the rest of God to where the body will come into a place of resting in God where God will rest in us. And in this rest, the enemy will not be able to do warfare because we are resting in him and he is resting in us. And, and I, I just, I love how the enemy won't be able to touch us in that place of rest. And just, I don't know, as, as I just look at the body of Christ and talk to a lot of different, you know, ministries and different pastors and teachers and just as a whole friends, it just seems like it's interesting that the Lord spoke even ahead of time, knowing that this was right. coming, that we need to enter into rest, you know? Yeah, absolutely, bro. And, wow. uh, and it, it was so good. You, cause I was, you know, we were, ch I was just messaging you like, what, you know, what do you want to talk about? And you had mentioned, uh, how I think you mentioned in the, in the face of affliction, or a face of adverse or adversity, how do you stay in joy? And uh, I love that we haven't talked for a couple of years and you just assumed that I'm still staying in joy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you, bro. Like, uh, you yeah, come on. <laughs> you back, dude. That's why. Yeah. You've so, seen me, brother. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and, and I think... I've been just, I've been given a gift of joy. Like I don't, I don't work it up. I don't have to try, you know, some, some people I think have been given a gift of sobriety, which I, I didn't get, but yeah. may, we may not have them on the show. I'm not sure, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, maybe next week. Maybe. Something to balance. You got to balance it out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so this happiness is a gift, but at the same time, you, you have to cultivate that. You have to stay in that. And uh, yeah, so just being hit with with adversity, like how do you practically walk it out? And I think it's really just walking in the spirit, like being in the spirit, you uh -huh. know. And uh, but but just kind of that phrase, being in the spirit. Yes. It's Tell us more. Like, it's like Christianese, though, a little bit. Like, oh, bless yeah. you, brother. Just walk in yeah. the spirit, you know. Right. So. So what does that what does that look like practically? How do we what is what is what does that look like walking in the spirit? You know, and uh, it was fun before before the uh, podcast. I thought oh, I need to see what's Matt been up to. You know, so I was like going through like, your YouTube channel and and uh, just your past podcasts, and I just love I love the the prayer that you're doing your online prayer. Yeah, and uh, it's just uh it's just so it's so drunk it's just so good it's just so you guys are just staying in the presence you guys yeah. i i feel like i kind of i kind of got this picture of of uh of like you've you've taken the joy mountain you know you've taken like uh you know we had all these seven mountains you know we had the the business mountain and the education mountain and the political mountain and uh, I just feel, I think it was back in maybe 2008, right? When when we just got hit with the glory, <laughs> hit with, with the whack. We found the joy. We found, you know, we found the happy spot. And, uh, and you know, and I feel like some people went up to the top of the mountain and they put their flag and they're like, yeah, well, this, we're here. This is our mountain. 
but you've just you built a house up there you built a <laughs> castle like no we're staying here we're right here and it was just so fun to 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 just go through some of your your podcasts and the prayer meetings and and you guys are just staying with the grace the finished work of the cross yeah. just like yeah. this is our joy this is our foundation this is this is where we're at so I, it's funny for me to come on and talk about joy because uh, if, if you follow Matt at all, <laughs> you're, I'm sure he's keeping you uh, in the joy. <laughs> so. Yeah, but I was excited to hear from you, bro, because, uh, you know, uh, and, and obviously, you know, you talk about it as much as you want. But I mean, you guys, you're, you're locked away in Finland. You're, you're oh. in Russia in the midst oh. of like crazy oh. time, bro. And it's like. I feel like you have authority to speak on it in a way, you know, that's sure. kind of, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think uh, uh, the foundation of joy is just a real thank is a is a thankful heart, just being thankful for what you have, thankful for where you're at, you know, wow. like yeah, you know, literally like, oh, I'm I'm so thankful we have a bed to sleep on. I'm so thankful we have yeah. good food to eat. We have clean water. We have fresh air. We have, Come and, on. and I know, I mean, I know, Matt, you've been traveling to, to Nepal. You know what it's like to just be thankful yes. to have clean water. I'm like, whoa, clean water. I was in, I was in Please. Finland. They have the cleanest water in the world. And you yeah. just go to the tap, you know, you drink tap water and it's like, whoa, this is so good. And I was in China. I don't know how Nepal is, but you're in China. You you, you don't have blue skies, you know, it's right. all smog. So yeah. same in Nepal. Yeah. 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 So it's just just keeping that thankful heart of like, oh, I'm just I'm so thankful even for these little things, you know, the, the green Come grass, the flowers, the trees, the fact that I'm physically healthy, mentally healthy. And, and I, I think doing any missions, going out, seeing how the rest of the world is living, seeing the mentalities that other people have and just the blessing that we have and have grown up in, under and just the privilege, uh, even to be Americans is, uh, it should highly you privileged. Should just be thankful. You should be the happiest yeah. people ever to yeah. live on the planet. So that's, that's definitely true. But uh, yeah, but joy is more than just thankfulness. It's more than just laughing. It's more than a smile. It's an actual person. It's, it's on, Jesus, bro. you know. Yeah. Yes. And, and and we're and and that's kind of where the shift comes. Is like okay, if we're gonna stay in joy, if we're gonna stay in Jesus, He's not physically here right now. He left and said, "It's better that I leave." so that he could send his spirit. So now all of a sudden we have this invisible yeah. spirit, whatever this is. So how, how do we get in that? How do we walk in that? How, how do we manifest that? And, and that's kind of been my, kind of my thing. I've been just, uh, I, it kind of comes back to practicing the presence, right? And, and uh, I think, uh, I don't know, I'm, I assume I'm just, I'm kind of talking to, yeah, I assume I'm talking to Matt followers. So I'm assuming you know the glory and just how to step in the glory and how you can just come into a room where everybody's in the glory, they're whack, they're just drinking, and you can just walk in and boom, you're just, boom, I'm right there, boom, I'm in the presence, you know. First thing, here we go, you know the board <laughs> and just like that it's just the turning of our heart right can i know yeah. matt you can feel the presence of the lord right yeah. so it's just that okay we just as an act of our will we decided i'm i'm stepping in i'm stepping into that right and anything that you've experienced in the lord in his presence in the spirit anything you've ever had an experience in you can actually step into that by an act of your will i that's that's why i i remember when i first got around the the drunken glory crowd they would go from totally sober to boom hammer drunk and i <laughs> yeah. i never really understood that like how how did Come you on. flip from here i'm talking to you to boom i'm gone <laughs> and and i was like is this real is this fake what what is this you know and and it's really you you've just learned to access that you've learned to just step into it 
And uh, the best, the way, I think the best way to explain that is, uh, is just, uh, I assume most people are, can speak in tongues, right? So an act of my will, here I am speaking English, yes. you know, and all of a sudden over here, sharada kinderia rambarada, and over here I'm speaking English again, and I just <laughs> activated it. As an act of my will, I stepped in, I let go of my brain and just let my tongue go. You know, and I can speak in tongues really fast, just warfare, or just like, so, and I can even kind of change it up, right? It's just like I've learned to release my spirit, learn to let go of, of my brain activity, and, and that's stepping in the spirit, right? So I think I feel like most people would have a fam familiarity with being able to, oh, yeah, I can speak in tongues. And right. I think where people might have a, a, a maybe a little hurdle is maybe they've never experienced that heavy weight of glory, the drunkenness. They've never experienced that. And and I think some people, too, that maybe the drunken glory is all they're really familiar with. It's like, yeah, I've hung out with this glory party and that's kind of all I know. And I, I know for me and we can reminisce later if we want but when i first encountered the glory like uh I, I mean i i i just got i was just whacked i was just like gone for like a week like right i just barely speak english you're just gone people had to haul you around so i <laughs> entered that by accident you know it's like holy spirit yeah. came up and just gave me a big push yes and i feel like some people are waiting for that push again it's like mm -hmm. he pushed you into the pool i i I've just been learning to step in the spirit and maybe go different places in the spirit and in the spirit realm that are uh, that are just a little different than that, a little different than speaking tongues, a little different than than uh, you know the glory. And and one realm that I find that I can get almost anybody to access is peace. Come on, just the peace of God, because. Um, Shut up. You know, the kingdom of heaven is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So if we can get people to step into peace by the Holy Spirit, right? And I, and so uh, instead of just preaching, sharing, I want to just do a little activation with whoever's listening. Come on. Come and uh, on. Why, why, why waste our time talking about <laughs> it when we can't yes. experience it, right? Yes. So, so I just encourage and I, I've just even people I've shared with is is you just if you can just calm and quiet yourself just to enter a quiet room a place where you can be in private and quiet yeah you just settle down and and uh and if you're standing you, know, you just take a step forward into peace just mm. into his presence glory and, and I think most people can feel peace right like uh, I, I assume that's a real easy realm this, oh yeah, there's your peace. Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. And Jesus is the door through whom we walk, right? So he's the Prince of Peace, the Kingdom of Peace. And we just walk into that realm of peace. And it's a wide open realm. It's an easy realm. It's a peace that passes our understanding and it guards our heart and our mind. And it just watches over us. And that's a place where we're... We're just with Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit, and he's our protector. He's our provider. Boom, just in peace, in his realm of peace. And, uh, and it's, I just do this as a daily practice, actually, before I read the Bible, before I pray, as I just want to step into his presence. So I just, I just, all right, Lord, I just step into your peace. There it is. And from peace, I just kind of step up into this thankfulness. Yeah, I just, I, I'm so grateful, Lord. So I just encourage you with me, just step into thankfulness. Lord, we're just so thankful. Yeah. We're thankful for your goodness, for your love, for the blue skies, for the sunshine, for the clean water, for the food, for our friends and family. We're just so grateful. Just let that, that gratefulness, that thankfulness just kind of move up inside of you Shoot. and then next place real easy to walk into from thankfulness is just to walk into to 
to joy, walk into gladness, into happiness. <laughs> and it says, because it says to enter his gates with thanksgiving. So we just come in with thanksgiving. <sighs> yeah. And we just enter it. We just enter into uh, rejoicing, to rejoice, to do joy again. And we just, this childlike simplicity. And it's actually a realm. It's a realm of the spirit that we're walking into peace and thankfulness this gladness, this rejoicing, this happiness, right? Because we have the kingdom of heaven is righteousness, peace, and joy. So now all of a sudden we've we walked into peace. Ooh. We've walked into to that joy, that happiness, that gladness. It's just, I'm glad, happy, rejoicing in the Lord. And you can just, just be wrapped in his robe of righteousness <laughs> that was purchased for you at the cross. So you're in, you're, you're totally in and you can actually experience it. Like uh, I experienced my arm hair stand yeah. up, my leg hair stand up. I can feel it all over here. So, yeah. and, and I do this throughout the day. I just do this throughout the day. Like, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm sitting in the bus. Oh, let me see if I can enter into peace. Oh, there it is. Here's, oh, how about thankfulness? Here's some joy. Oh, righteousness. Oh man, this is a good place. All of a sudden it's a good, warm, yummy, like a uh, hot tub of glory right there, the kingdom of heaven. And you've just stepped into it and anything that you step into now becomes in you and now you can release it. So now, oh, now I can release peace to my surrounding. I can release thankfulness. I can release that joy, that happiness because it's an actual spiritual realm. And the spiritual realm is of greater value and substance than the physical realm the physical realm is just a, 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 a substance of the spiritual realm. So it's just a real practical way that I'm a real feeler. So I feel that I can feel boom. Oh, peace. Oh, the thankfulness. Oh, joy. It's right there. Some days it's hard to step into peace. I can just step into joy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> or thankfulness. So you just find, and then from there, I just kind of move around. And a good place to move from here is just his love and his affection. <laughs> just his adoration that, ah, oh, he loves me. Yeah. I love him. We wow. are one. I love you, Lord. And you love me, Jesus. And this is actually this. If you're feeling this, this is actually worship right here. This is so when a worship leader is leading, he leads you right here to this adoration, right? This. I worship you to live. I worship you to live. I live to worship you. It's that realm right there. Worship leaders just take you right there. But you can actually step into that as an act of your will in the same way that you can go, sha da da king da da da. I can just boom, I step into, he loves me. I love him. Yeah. yeah, he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Just like, Boom, I stepped right in without the worship band, without the fog lights, yes. without the crowd. And I can access <laughs> this wherever I'm at. In fact, I, I, I practice this before I read the Bible. I'm like, I should probably be in the spirit before I read the Bible. Good maybe on. I can, and then maybe I'll be in the spirit before I go to sleep. Or I'll wake up. Now, let, let me step into the spirit before I do the day today. It just you just take breaks of like oh I'm just gonna step in where where's the access point I'll oh, just love and another great realm to step up into is just just honoring him praising him just lift up his name it's just adoration God we love you you are amazing you are the high God the one God the only God the God who was and is and is to come he's you're everywhere you're the king of all kings you're the Lord of all lords we've just entered into praise right there. That's the realm of praise. A worship leader will lead you there. We give you the highest praise. You deserve <laughs> it all. So you've just stepped into praise without a song. And you can go from praise back into his love and affection. <sighs> Step back down into that joy, <laughs> gladness. Step down into his thanksgiving. And down into his peace. <sighs> peace. Step into praise into his love you're, you're just walking in the glory you you're just you're just vibrating my body is vibrating my my hair is standing up on my on my arms i'm just <laughs> whoa it was an act of my will i did it because i wanted to not yeah. because somebody prayed for me not because the holy spirit prompt on me not because i went to sunday morning service not because i went to the prayer meeting but it was an act of my will 
God, I love you. I love your realm. I love your spirit realm. I want to walk in your kingdom. Your kingdom is righteousness, peace, and joy. So I can just step into that now and just manifest your kingdom out here so that heaven is vibrating in me. <laughs> I'm just manifesting that in the earth. And, then, and once you're here, it's really dangerous because it's really easy to now pop back up into that realm of glory and ecstasy and bliss. And, and you'll, get, <laughs> you'll get real lost and it's really fun. But what I what I noticed is uh, this is a good like on and off ramp into that bliss realm. Yeah. I found that sometimes I get in the bliss realm and you can really get lost. And if you're there, you can just as an act of your will, just step into his praise, into his love. Yes, his bro. Peace. And you can you can kind of land that plane. I, I, I had a real hard time landing the plane, so to speak, when, when I first got lost in the glory. I didn't I didn't know where to go. I was like, I'm gone. I'm lost. And it felt like the glory realm, the bliss realm, the ecstasy realm is the only realm. And the, the problem is, is it's really hard to communicate with people in that realm. But right. it's much easier to communicate with people if we can step into peace and joy his love and adoration so so this is uh this is this is how you stay happy in the midst of circumstances that aren't happy <laughs> in the midst of a battle yeah and it's it's that presence it's that glory and it's not just that god bless you brother you know, walk in the spirit. It's like, oh, this yeah. has to be practical. For me, I need to feel it. Like some people yeah. might be able to walk into that as a knower, like, oh, I just I know he's with me and that's 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 comfort for them. But but I'm a I'm a come on, give me I, I gotta feel this. I'm a touch person. I'm married now. This you gotta touch me. If you don't touch me, I feel <laughs> alone. So Holy Spirit touches me, you know. I've been I've been uh, that's something new. I've been uh, just thinking about the, the love languages, right? So we have yeah. we have uh, touch, words of affirmation, gifts, uh, all the uh, those are those are God's expressions, those are how God will will communicate me, right? Speak to me words of affirmation through prophetic words of the Bible. Through touch, I feel his presence. Through quality time, he loves to spend quality time with me. Through gifts, surprises, and uh, and uh, and service. So the Lord really serves us, you know, really just provides for us. And and we get we get to give the same to him, you know. We get to give him touch. Our 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 spirit touches him, you know. We get to give him a gift, a gift of trust. We get to give him our quality time. We get to give him acts of service by by uh, you know serving the least of these. So uh, I I just feel like there's we're stepping into this intimacy, this rest, and it it needs to be physical. I need to feel it. I need to see it. I need to. It, it, it can't just be like a, a theology. It actually has to be something yeah. that's real, that, that, that's tangible, that I'm, Come on. that's affecting my mind and my emotions and my will and my body and my life and my family and my, yeah. you know, surroundings. So, so have an good. honor. There it is. Dude, yeah, I feel like you just gave it, you know, th here's a real intro to practical mysticism, you know, to yeah, practice yeah. Christian mysticism, to spiritual life. And, dude, that's absolutely, uh, I mean, thanks, bro, because uh, You're welcome, man. that's absolutely something that, uh, you know, yeah, there's some there's some folks in our stream that have gotten it and are getting it, but there's, there's very few people talking about that or imparting that. And, uh, yeah. And so it's awesome. I mean, that, I'm so glad we had you on because uh, <laughs> even that little, you know, thing, uh, I mean, if you're watching this or listening to this, revisit what David just walked us through because, you know, it is, it, it, it is so huge that we don't just have a whole bunch of head knowledge and a whole bunch of cool things or uh, a, a whole bunch of experiences that happened, you know, 10 years ago, you know, 15, five years, ago, whatever. But uh what David just walked us through is really saying at any moment, Oh, I want to experience these things. I want to walk in these things. And uh, yeah, one of the things I've been addressing over the last few years too, is how oftentimes people feel like, well, maybe it's either a misunderstanding of the finished work or they just feel like a victim somehow. 
where they can't just step into an experience, you know, well, well, I don't, I can't make anything happen, whatever. It's yeah. like, we're well, making anything happen. It's just like walking in what you have. It's, it's here. It is right here, right now. There's no reason that you can't, but a lot of people haven't been taught or pointed to that or seen examples of it. And yeah. so yeah. this is super valuable, bro. It's, su- it's, yeah. yeah. It's so good. And, and that's that same person, that same mindset, you know, we need to take our thoughts captive. It's our thoughts that, that block us from, yeah. from moving forward, from progressing, from entering in. But I, I'm sure that same person could just speak in tongues at will. Right. You know? Yes. Yes. Or, or just that, that door, so to speak, of entering peace. Yes. Like, oh, yeah, I can get that. And, and I, you know, it, uh, we don't always have to have the ecstatic experience, you know. But I, I've, found, I've found the more I practice his presence and practice stepping in, I'm, boom, I'm right there. And I, I can sometimes yeah. just step in by faith. I was like, I don't feel peace today. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I step in by faith. Oh, now I feel it, you know? Yeah, bro. <laughs> well, and it's like what you were just walking us through reminds me, and I've been using this analogy more, but uh, it's like uh, Teresa of Villa's interior castle, right? Mm-hmm. You have you you are a temple. You are this castle, and there's different parts of you. You just go and dwell there in your awareness. You're like, oh, I'm going to sit in that peace room right now. I'm going to I'm gonna sit in that joy or all those different things you're describing, and Obviously, Teresa's thing is a bit different, but the picture is the same. Like there's this there. We are this holy habitation, this home. We have this union. Settle into it. Experience it like you're not bad or, you know, lacking if you don't. But why not when you have access? Like, why not? You know, yeah. Why just taste of that piece as easy as taking a a piece of fruit, you know, as easy as like, you know, (laughs) Yeah, Love these little pictures. But another one I like, and you kind of were mentioning this, but I'll often tell people, okay, if you speak in tongues, notice that place inside of you where the tongues mm-hmm. is coming from. No, notice where the tongues is coming from. Now just sit in that place in your awareness. Oh, there's the Lord. Oh, there's Holy Spirit. There you are. Oh, you know, like, but, but we haven't been, you know, sometimes we're even afraid of it still after all these years, you know, Christians are sometimes the most afraid of spiritual things, you know, (laughs) because everything is a weird, it's the devil, it's a cult, it's a, you know, it's like, at some point, though, we've got to know how to be spiritual creatures, you know, (laughs) at some point, you know, yeah, and, uh, yeah. yeah, and it's never it's never a waste of time, you know. If you're just sitting there, you don't feel anything. Well, just sit there. Use your. Yeah. I, I want to feel you. Like I don't know. Like like have you know? Like I don't yes. know. Like, I'm just gonna sit here until until something yeah. happens, you know. And yeah. he'll show up. He does. He does. He will yeah. show up. Yes. That. Yeah. That's the thing. Like we're we're afraid. We had that one moment where we didn't feel God and we're, we've yeah. been so insecure because we've been let down by so many different people or things. We think God's not going to give that gift to us. Or maybe, maybe to Dave, because he's a super spiritual guy, yeah. but yeah. it's like, dude, the promise is if you ask for bread, he's not going to give you a stone. It's not yeah. going to give you a snake. He's yeah. going to give the good stuff. And he has, and yeah so yeah, and, it, and it may not look it may not look like me it may not yeah. maybe the thing i do you're, you're oh that doesn't work not, but maybe you have right. another little thing or the way matt does it doesn't work for you or you see someone manifest this way and and that doesn't do it for you but man maybe you just open your bible and you're like whoa there's there's the lord today you know come on where you go and serve someone oh i just feel so i feel the pleasure of the lord when I'm serving the poor or helping people and i think he's got little avenues for us to go discover him you know maybe maybe it's in a movie or maybe it's in a song or maybe it's in hanging out with friends but um i don't i just so I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah, you know, and, and I love what you're doing, too. It's it's such a challenge to put language to the spiritual realities, you know, <laughs> it's so beyond words. Yeah. And uh, so it's like, if anyone's watching and you're like, I don't really understand that, you know, well, we don't know how to put it into language either, but just connect with what's deeper, what's behind this language, what's behind this word, mm-hmm. which is the word, which is the Jesus that's near us and in us. And it looks so different. I like how you said that too. Like 
one of the things I go over in my book is how as soon as we try to look to any one way of like yeah. making this happen, it's yeah. like it that thing will not work it anymore for us, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, yeah. I thought I was supposed to wake up every morning and just read my Bible. And that's how I got in or whatever. I thought I had to put my hands out like this. Yeah. And it's like, you know, the I always hesitate to like say, you know, this is the way. But mm -hmm. what you're saying is like, you know, God shows up in so many different things, whether it's a song you hear or that, yeah. you know, that you, you have this thing that, you know, for a while we were always toking the ghost, you know, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. And there was always something on it. But then, then it came a time where for me, it was like, it's time to exhale the presence, you know, just exhale <laughs> whack on, on that. You know, there's like, it, you know, as soon as any one of these things becomes like some, you know, thing, but it's, it's, they're all just pointers to, we're in yeah. God's presence now. We're we are in. Yeah. We're we're here. Pointers to the gospel. We're in yeah. union with God because yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. So let's experience it. Yeah. Uh, yes. We're so you know. Good. We can sometimes get afraid of uh, of telling people anything practical because they'll lock into one practical thing and turn it into an idol. But the, right. on the switch side of that pendulum is that. There's all these people that feel stuck because they're not allowed to, they don't want to turn anything into a work. So they just don't engage at all, you know? Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. I love what you're saying, bro. And, yeah. Uh, and, and <laughs> I love how uh, this is a kind of a quote from uh, Bill Johnson. I'll probably say it differently is, and kind of how I started just entering into his, his piece is he said, when, you know, he, he was asking people how many how many people uh, want to hear a word from the Lord, and you know everybody. Okay, you know, right. and it is God. Do you hear Him? And they're like, No, we don't hear Him. But if you step in and you feel His peace, you feel His presence. Most people can feel His peace. You're feeling Him, and He is the Word. Yes, and that is how He's speaking to you. He's Come not on. always just speaking to you in English. You know. Yes. You, and if you've practiced prophecy, you, you sometimes you get pictures in your mind. Right. Sometimes you and or he speaks to you like in a knowing or a, and that's a great way to practice the presence, practice spiritual things is prophesying over people. But then realize that, hey, maybe if I'm sitting here and I'm trying to feel his peace, I don't feel peace. But I had a thought come in my head. That really wasn't yeah. my thought. That's kind of a God thought. Maybe it's a, a, a scripture or or something. And then, oh, oh, yeah, maybe that'll lead me. Maybe today I'm just going to study this word. What is it in Greek and Hebrew? And that's where he meets me that day. Or or however, I, I, I think also like just sitting in his presence, I, I started like, I started turning on my senses. Just like, okay, yeah. what do I see? Right. So nothing. Okay, what do I hear? What do I smell? Oh, what do I taste? All of a sudden, I was like, oh, I, I kind of taste, Whoa. I kind of taste like a saltiness. Oh, that's interesting. And I just kind of followed that. Oh, and then all of a sudden, like, senses kind of opened up. I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool. So I think I think we can be playful with this, you know. We're, we're the children of God, you know. You enter the kingdom with childlike faith. And I think there's real freedom to play here, real freedom to okay god what what are you doing jesus is the door to the to the spiritual realm and we get to step in and uh i'm sure there's people that they want more right they want they they have a desire for for spiritual things and it's there it's it's waiting there for us and uh yeah you get to Dude. you get to play with that experiment you know i, I love that too because all the all the people that i've met that are seeing the most fruit in the spirit and spiritual life they don't take it all too seriously you know they're all very childlike very yeah. innocent, you know the people that I, that I know that are seeing the most healings that are seeing the most like restoration and transformation and stuff they're not you know we we almost have this idea that they're like these big very spiritual people but they're the most childlike the most yeah fun and they they're engaging in this stuff without fear you know they're yeah. just kind of like oh you know hey let's try this oh well, i didn't really feel something on that but no big deal let's we'll try this yeah. now you know yeah yeah, yeah. And, uh, it, and it's you know i don't know you know we're, we're trying to put language around this stuff which yeah. is word wordless but you yeah. know 
what I love, I, I know talking with you, you've been doing this for some decades now, really, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and the same. And so like, if someone's watching or listening, it's like, dude, I don't know. You know, I, all I can say is I've been drinking, I've been experiencing Jesus for some time now. And this stuff resonates. None of us are experts, but we're saying, dude, it's possible to just step in anytime to, to at any moment, experience God, any moment. We can experience this in Abba and Holy Spirit, and it's yeah. not hard. And uh, yeah. it might, it feels hard at first, I think, only because our mind's been so set on the five natural senses. We're usually just so locked into the natural, the natural, the natural, yeah. and yeah. and the spiritual still feels a bit like a foreign language at first. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, just try it; it gets easier and easier, and and really like. Oh man, it's effortless eventually, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's so true that it's like a it's like our mind, our mind is where we think and we have thoughts. It's really important that we we take captive those thoughts, right? Like to actually judge the thoughts that are coming in, like you're in charge of that. You're responsible yeah. for the thoughts that are sitting in your head. And and especially when you're trying to enter in the spirit, enter into the presence of the Lord, enter into Jesus. Obviously you're going to start having probably negative thoughts. And if you can just in your imagination, just grab that thing and throw it down, cast it away, tell it to get out. Yes. And, and then, and then realize that our imagination is actually kind of the, I don't know, the, the, the whiteboard that God is going to write on, that he's going to use our imagination to connect with the spiritual realm. And I think that's people are really afraid of that because it feels like pretend. And it is like, yeah, it totally feels like pretend. That's <laughs> why you got to be like a little kid. And yeah, yeah I, I, when I've been in the glory with friends and you throw the fireball across the room and the guy gets smacked and, and it starts feeling normal after a while. Oh yeah, of course he flew down. I threw a fireball at him, you know, and you're, you're literally just out of your mind, you yeah. know, and it's, it's just this playful pretend world and, and that's accessing the kingdom. It's accessing the spiritual world and, and part of our responsibility is, you know, keeping that holy, keeping that for the Lord, keeping that innocence, keeping that pure and just coming before the Lord and just let's say, hey, let's clean this imagination out. You know, Lord, we just welcome you in there. Here you go. You know, and just I think that's why the grace message is so, so strong, because, you know, we we have negative thoughts. We have you know, we have wrong, sinful, whatever thoughts, and we just need that grace of like, oh, grace, you know, he's, he loves me, he forgives me, you know, and it, it, it takes that shame away. I think the what keeps us out is that unbelief. We don't believe that we can do that. And then that shame as well of like, oh, but I'm not that good. Or, I, I haven't read my Bible for a week or I haven't been to church or I haven't really prayed. And it's like, no, just grace. Just hit the reset button and and, uh, and let's go. Just step on Come in. Come on. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny too, because uh, I think a lot of what we're talking about is, is a, a bit of like, if there's any moment where you want to experience more of Jesus in that moment, like th these are things that we just kind of gave you some tips, but like you mentioned uh, somewhat in already as well, there's like, there's so many times where Jesus will just still surprise you and initiate. It's not like we're the initiators, you know, like you were talking about at first, like I think for all of us, it, we, we all have somewhat, not, it's not going to be as dramatic maybe as Paul getting knocked off his ass, but you know, the, the way you get into this, none of us can like start and say, okay, I'm the one starting this and I'm going to make this happen. You know, like God is so good sending waves yeah. of glory, awakening us. Yeah. You know? uh, and so a lot of what we're say, talking about today, I, I, I sense it in that realm. It's almost like the divine dance. Like Jesus starts the dance, but then he does let you dance back, you know, and the, there's that, there's yeah. that dance that's going on. And uh, I think when I'll, I'll people think that it's only going to be just waves of God that are like making it happen all the time. It's like, no, you, you're a real person. Like you get to exist and, and have a life and 
yeah, your free will doesn't save you, but he doesn't remove your free will altogether. Uh, that's nonsense. I mean, everybody knows you make decisions every single day. Yeah. And, uh, and so what we're talking about today is just, you know, engaging in that divine dance, you know, or participating in that worship that's yeah. already happening, you yeah. know, flow going with the flow. The flow is what starts it, you know, the, yeah. those moments where you didn't know what you were doing. I mean, half of us met God when we were running the other way, you know, like <laughs> probably all of us really, but it's yeah. like, you know, there's this, there's these waves that hit, but there's also times when, you know, you can surf the wave, you know, and yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. so yeah, I mean, I've seen people get sidetracked by, by just never learning to surf, I guess, you know, <laughs> like they're, they're like, well, you know, uh, you know, I don't, you know, I don't pray anymore. I don't read my Bible anymore. Like that was all religious. It's like, bro, are you kidding? It's like saying like, I don't want to feast anymore. Like I don't want to yeah. drink anymore. Like, you know, you're going to yeah. drink up, bro. But yeah, I love, yeah. I love, I love what you're pointing us to and yeah. uh, hard to put language around it, but I think you did a pr pretty good job, man. <laughs> yeah. and I think as well, I, I used, I remember I always thought I like, I had to go to the worship service to feel good. Yes. I had to play my favorite song on my favorite CD. Right. Yeah. And I play that thing over and over and, oh, I feel the goosebumps here, you know, or, or this is my one Bible verse. I, you know, the, I know the Lord spoke to me and, and, yeah. and, and I feel like you can really use those past experiences as, as doors to enter in. I, something you just sit there and remember the last time the Lord touched you and how did that feel and just sit in that place. And, and you, that might be a place where the Lord would meet you. It's like, where did he speak to you last? Where did he last touch you? Even if it was 10 years ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, and there's so many, I mean, God's just so gracious too, you know, and, and what we're talking about is, I mean, there's so many different ways. And so it's like, I mean, Jesus is the only way. I'm not talking about that, obviously. But there's so many ways of, of, feel, of feeling, of, of, of hearing, of communicating. we got to watch out for these heresy hunters. Matt, Matt just said, Matt just you said know. there's many ways. <laughs> I do it. I do I'm going to tweet it right now. <laughs> no, but it's like, there's, we, we get stuck sometimes thinking it, it's, you know, I can only experience God in that certain yeah. way. And it's like, I, a lot of times I'll just say, Hey, let's just settle down for a minute. Like, what are the things you've been feeling God on lately? Like, what are yeah. you, or, or what have you even just been enjoying lately? You know, yeah. uh, yeah. God is in there. God is yeah. in that. And Christ yeah. is you know in all. And so yeah. It's like, yeah, okay, well, I've been talking with this one friend and I get really encouraged and stuff. All right, yeah. sweet. Like, let now you step into that and start to like, you know, move around with Holy Spirit and what's happening there, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I, I just, you know, in all this, I just always come back to John chapter 10 where, uh, you know, he's the good shepherd and my sheep know my voice. That's and uh, we're all his sheep, contrary yeah. to what religion has said. You, you are one of the, the sheep of God. Oh, there it is. The glory sheep. <laughs> <laughs> the little lambkins of God. And, uh, you know, it, you may not hear the same way that somebody else does or whatever it is, but you do hear God and you're able to step into those places, you know. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's beautiful. So yeah. I've been getting the, the knowing a lot lately. The, the, uh, I've just had these knowings that something's going to happen, you know, that this thing's going to happen. And I can just rest in that knowing even and just get really whack yeah. and feel the love on it. Cause I'm like, yeah. Ooh, it's like, that's God. I know God. Like sometimes it's just exciting to be like, I know God. Oh, like <laughs> I'm, I'm noticing God in this area of my spirit, you know? That's and, so uh, and when those things ha come to pass, it's like so encouraging, you know, that just, I don't know, you know, it's all, all these little different ways, but, I love it. We do need a, honestly, we need more of this kind of discussion and more of this stuff because Christianity, unfortunately, it, and, uh, you know, not, yeah, it, it just hasn't had a robust spirituality so many times. Yeah. Um, and in the charismatic world, it can get sometimes so like, I don't know, just back into duties and works and, and stuff that we, yeah, we get condemned or we, everybody's working so hard and trying too hard. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah and i just love what you're presenting bro and um oh, thank you. 
we're, we're, we're probably, I try to keep these to like an hour. So maybe we can just prayer again. Let, let's yeah. just, let's just sense that place one more time. Um, <laughs> before we close out, just uh, whatever realm you want to walk in today, friends, ooh, just step into that. You're in it. Just notice, whoa, notice that peace. Whoa. Notice the joy, notice the gratefulness. Shaka, laka, 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 laka. Speak in tongues for a second and notice where the tongues are coming from. There you are. <laughs> Here we are in the hot tub of God. <laughs> Uh, in the tangible love that you died for us to experience, Jesus, in that tangible love, in that real place in the spirit. Mm. Uh, yeah. In that real rest, Lord, thank you. Thank you for real rest for our souls. Ha, 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 ha. Lord, better than a vacation is just living continuously <laughs> In that knowing that everything is all right. Everything's going to be all right. Because we have you, Jesus. We have you. And you have us and you're holding us. Mm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate you, man. <laughs>